I see everyone is slowly coming on in. That's perfect. We'll just wait a little second because a few of my friends are just trying to connect. So we'll just wait for everyone to connect. Come on in and get ready. Just a quick reminder to everyone before we get started, we just have a few small we'll ground you. rules to make sure that everything works out well and that you guys can hear us and I can hear you too. So, if you guys are in the call, can you please make sure that you're muted? And then if, I ha if you have a question, or if I say something like, what's your favorite color and you want to answer, then you can raise your hand and I'll point to you guys, and then you guys uh, can repeat back. Just that way we don't have too many people talking, and it's a little too hard to hear because everyone's talking. Um, if you also want to ask a question or you're a little too scared to ask something, you can also type it in the chat box as well. Now remember everyone, we got to be super respectful to each other, okay? And just a reminder, we do record our craft noons so that we can put it up on the Oakville YouTube channel. And then that way, if you guys miss a step or you want to do the craft again, you can go over there and check it out. So I'm super excited for today. Today is a special craft. Now we are on the very first day of June. And in Canada, June announces the month as Pride Month. So Pride Month recognizes that people should be proud to love who they want to love. And love is such a wonderful thing to celebrate. So to start off the new month, we are going to be making a super bright and colorful heart wreath. And I, I missed all um, the colors me? of the rainbow today. Do not say, did you know this? Did you know that? Don't ask, don't say that. It's it's that's okay. So we're going to be doing a beautiful, colorful reef today with one of my favorite shapes. We're going to be making some hearts. Miss, some of my favorite miss, stuff. Please. So I'm going to move my little reef over here and I'm going to tell you guys what you're going to need. So to get started for today, you're going to need some paper in all different colors. So I have all the colors of the rainbow with me today. I've got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. So depending on what colors you have, you can use as many or as little as you want. So if you only have red and orange, then you can use lots of red and orange. If you have all the colors, then you can use all the colors and we can make a beautiful rainbow. You'll also need something to help stick our hearts together. So I'm going to be using some white glue today. But if you don't have glue, you can also use some scissors or a stapler or anything that you... Um, not. Did I say scissors? Oh my goodness. You can use some tape, not scissors. You need tape to help stick everything together. So you could use tape, glue, some um, staplers, anything like that to help stick. You'll also need a pair of scissors to help cut out our paper. You'll need some string to help hold it up. So if you're going to make a wreath or some hanging down hearts, you'll need something to hang it up on the wall. And then you'll also need something like a pencil or a marker or a pencil crayon. And this is what we're going to use to help curl the ribbon into a heart shape. So just anything like this that long that you can just wrap the paper around. So I'm going to move everything off to the side and we're going to get started by doing the super easy part. I'm going to show you guys how to make all of these simple hearts that go uh, miss, around the uh, outside. Miss Emily? Yep, of course. Do you have a question? I, I, um, I still don't have all the material yet. That is okay. All I'm going to do to get started is do something really, really simple. And then once you have all the materials, you can follow along. We're just going okay. to be working on the really okay. simple heart on the side first. So to get started with the hearts, all you're going to need to do is take your paper. Um, okay, you need to cut going to need to cut some long rectangular strips. So it's a little hard to see with my pencil, so I'll cut one out. But you're going to basically cut out a long rectangle shape. Now if you want a super, super big heart, then you're going to need a really long strip. If you want a really, really, really tiny little heart, 
then you're going to need a tiny strip of paper. But all you're going to need to do is cut out one strip of paper. So I'm going to start with purple first. So I'm going to take my scissors. Now for my little friends, remember scissors are sharp. So you might need to ask a friend or a mummy or daddy or a grown up to help you out. But I'm going to start by cutting out one strip of purple paper. Now this is where the super, super easy part comes in. To make a heart, all you have to do is taking your strip of paper, you have to fold your paper in half and then squeeze at the bottom. Uh, Miss, Miss Emily? Yep? I still, I still haven't did the rectangle. That's okay. If you haven't done the rectangle, I'll keep showing it over and over again so that if you're working on one, you can see how to do the other one. So I'm taking my rectangle right here and I have folded it in half. And when you open it up, it sort of looks like a V. Now to make it in its special heart shape, all you have to do is take your pencil and then I'm going to put my rectangle on top of the pencil. And then I want you guys to watch closely. I'm going to put my thumb and I'm going to pull my paper so it curls. So I'm going to do that again. So I take my paper on the pencil, I put my thumb on it, and then when I pull, it curls the paper. And I'll do it on this side too. So I have my piece of paper on top of my pencil, um, my thumb Emily, down like this, and then I pull my paper Miss Emily. and it curls it just like that. Yes, sweetheart? What do you need help know with? That, um, how do we make... How do we make that V shape again? The V shape? To do the V shape, you're going to take your piece of paper like this, and then you're going to fold it in half, and then you're going to squeeze at the bottom. Like, like, like this? Exactly, just like that. And then you're going to open it up. And now okay, it's I like got a V shape. And that's the bottom of the heart. Now, time to do some curling. Yeah, to do the curling. So to do the curling, remember, you take a pencil. Take to the, you cannot turn off the or something mind. like this. Oh. Put down your piece of paper on top. Then you pinch it with your thumb. And then you have to pull your piece of paper. And it will curl it into a circle. I'll do it again. So I put my piece of paper and my thumb. And then I pull and it curls it. So you should end up with a shape like this. So it's a point at the bottom and then two curly pieces. And then all you need to do to finish it off is to put a tiny bit of glue at the two tops there and then it will make a heart shape, which is easy, super easy to do. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my glue and I'm going to put a tiny bit of glue just along here. Now you don't need a lot of glue with this. So you just need a tiny, tiny. Um, I'm still not done with, I'm not still done with the heart. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> then all you have to do is just hold it in place if you're using glue. If my friends are using tape, then you should be good to go. You should just be able to put a little bit of tape around the top to stick it and then bam you have a heart. Now this is just one heart, but you guys can decide how you want your heart. Uh, Miss Emily. You want it to be in a how long do we make line? It into a heart? Or do you want it to be in a big circle? Um, um, how do we make it into a heart? Because I have to get to curl. Yep, so you curled one side, then you need yeah. to curl the other side, and then I you're going to connect them together. Now, if you're doing a wreath just like this, then you're going to need a lot of hearts to put it in a big circle. Okay. All you need to do. If you're going to be doing a line, then you can just do as many as you want and then hang them down. Now, what I did is I did every color of the rainbow and then I did it twice. So that means there are seven red, orange, yellow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue. There are six colors. 
<laughs> it took me a second there. I had to remember. So I did it twice. So I did six on one side and then six together to make a big circle. But you don't have to do that many if you don't want to. You guys can always do a smaller circle or you can just do a few hearts and combine it. So all you have to do is once you've done one heart, you can take your next color and then do the exact same thing again. So we're just going to keep cutting up strips and then we're going to be turning them into hearts. So I'm gonna cut my strip here. And remember, the longer the strip, the bigger the heart. The smaller the strip of paper, the smaller the heart. If you want to save time, you can also take all of your paper together into one big pile. And then using your scissors, this will be, you have to be really careful if you do this, but then cut all of the paper at the same time. So every single color is in this pile and I'm gonna cut it all at the same time. This one's a little bit tricky, so you might need an adult to help you out with this one if you're going to cut them all at the same time. But I'm going to cut out all of my paper. So you should have a bunch of strips of paper all the same size. And then all we're going to do is just like what we did with the first heart. So you're going to fold your piece of paper into a point. So it looks like a V. Then taking your pencil, you're going to place it on top with your thumb and you're going to pull to curl it. And then the other side. So put your paper down and your thumb and then you're going to pull and curl. And then all you have to do to finish off your heart, it is add a tiny bit of glue at the top or tape, or if you have a stapler, you can staple to anything that you have to keep it together and then stick it in the middle. And then because I'm using glue, I usually have to hold it for a good second. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then there's another heart. And then I'm gonna keep making hearts. So as many hearts as I can make so that I can make a big circle of hearts. So I'm gonna go with my blue next. So again, folding in half. So I get my V shape, just like that. And then we're going to curl the one side. So curl and the other side and don't worry if it doesn't curl the first time you can always go over it multiple times so we get our curly paper and then add a little bit of glue so super easy for everyone but they look really pretty and you can choose if you want them to be hanging down anywhere or if you want them to be decorating something Maybe you're making a card and you want to decorate your card with paper hearts. Or maybe you are making an art project and you want to decorate your art project with lots and lots of colorful hearts. So as you can see, I have purple, blue, and green hearts done. Now I'm going to work on a yellow one so that I have the whole color of the rainbow. So I'm going to do my yellow. So I'm going to make my V again. Then I'm going to curl the paper. And then you guys know just what to do. Add a tiny bit of glue at the end and then make our heart. So I got my tiny bit of glue. It is on the end. And then I'm sticking the ends together. And then I am holding it down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So I've got two more colors to go, and then I'll show you guys how to start sticking them together so that you can make the super big circle. 
So let me finish up by doing my orange. So I've got my orange color right here. I'm gonna curl my ribbon, my no, almost ribbon. This is how you can curl ribbon as well, but I'm just using paper today. My goodness, I'm saying all different types of words. <laughs> We're using scissors to stick things together. We're curling imaginary ribbon, my goodness. So glue at the top and then squish together. And then we hold. And because it's paper, if you want your heart to be slightly different, you can always pinch it around just into the shape that you want it to look like. So I like my hearts to look very round. So that's why I kind of keep it like this. But if you want them to be pointy, you can always bend the tops to make it a pointy heart as well. So I have an orange heart there. And then last but not least, I'm going to add my red. And then I'll show you guys how we can stick it all together. I see we have lots of colors going on. Ooh, I see yellow, I see pink. You guys can do all different colors. You could do red hearts, you could do pink hearts, you could do black and orange hearts, you could do polka dotted rainbow, squiggly line, zigzag hearts with all different patterns on them. It's all up to you guys how you want to decorate your hearts. So this is my last one here. And then I'm going to cut out some more in a second, but I'll show you guys how we can stick it all together. So, once you guys have a bunch of hearts made, you guys can choose how you want to glue them together. Now, you could glue them so that they're in a long line like this. And then that this is called a garland. And you can basically hang this somewhere so that it hangs down on the wall. But if you want to make yourself a wreath, which is a big circle, all you're going to do is take one heart at a time and add a tiny bit of glue or tape or, st or staple it. And you're gonna add it to the side of the heart. And then taking your other heart, you're going to stick it together. So I'm gonna stick my blue heart here and I'm going to hold it for a second so that it stays in place and that the glue can stick. So I'm going to hold it and you can blow on it too. If you want the glue to dry a little faster. And then you'll have two hearts stuck together. And you continue this all the way around until you have a circle. So I can see now that my next color I want to do is green. So I'm going to take some glue. I'm going to stick it down on my blue heart and then I'm going to connect my green heart together with putting a little bit of glue and then I'm sticking my green heart and you do this over and over again so you repeat this until you get one super big circle. Now it'll be a little easier if you have tape or a stapler because it will be all you have to do is just tape it or staple it. But if you're doing glue, you might have to wait a second for the glue to get sticky and start drying. So I have to pinch mine and then wait for the glue to get a little sticky before I move on to the next heart. But I keep doing this all the way around, gluing and sticking my hearts together until I get a rainbow of hearts. And I'll do this one here as well. So I'm going to add a little bit of glue and pinch it together. And do you guys see how now we're slowly starting to get our circle? I'm also going to add my red heart here. Now, if you want to do a small circle, then you can just use this many hearts and then stick it together once the glue has dried. So my glue still hasn't dried a bit but you can stick it together as a small heart. But I'm gonna make a really big circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this off to the side and take my paper again and cut out a few more strips so that I can get a super big 
circle of hearts. And to do that, all I'm doing is taking my paper, making sure it's all together in a big pile, and then very slowly, I'm taking my scissors and I'm cutting out all of the paper at once into long rectangle strips. Now this might be a little bit harder to do it all at once. So if it's too hard to do it all at once, don't worry, you can take your time and just do each strip nice and slow. But now that I have all of my strips of paper here, I can do some more hearts to add to my heart wreath. And I'll go through these a little bit faster now that we know what to do. So you pinch it into your V, you take your pencil, and you curl. So I'm doing this a little bit faster. You can also, if you don't want to glue yet, you can also curl all of your paper at once, um, and Emily? then your paper will be ready to glue. Ew, ew, ew. Well, you could use scissors, because scissors are much more easier to curl. <laughs> scissors are a little bit easier to curl. So normally you use scissors to curl things like ribbon, but because we're using paper, if you don't want to use scissors, because scissors can be a little bit sharp, you can also curl with your pencil as well. And then that way, you don't have to worry about using sharp scissors. So I'm just quickly making my strips of paper into hearts. So just like what we did with our first hearts, I'm going to keep going. And to make mine go by a little bit faster so that I can show you guys how to do the super big heart in the middle, I'm just quickly doing mine just like this. So all I'm doing is curling the paper so it's ready for me to glue it. So all I'm doing is making my V's and then curling the sides. Then once I have all the paper curled, all I need to do is add a tiny bit of glue to the top to glue it into a heart shape. So I'm going to put my glue over here and then pinch it together. So really easy and they look super cute as well. And depending on how much paper you have, you guys can make this a super, super big wreath or a super, super big garland with tons and tons and tons of hearts. Or you can make an itty bitty tiny one. You can keep going. You can try and do as many hearts as you can make. See how many hearts you could do all at once. There's lots of ways to do this. So I'm just slowly gluing away, making all of my hearts. And I'm going to add my green here. Just pinching away, making sure it sticks. And I'm just going in the colors of the rainbow. And to help remember, if you don't remember all the colors of the rainbow, you can use a really funny word. And that funny word is Roy G. Biv. And Roy G. Biv stands for every color of the rainbow. So Roy is red, orange, and yellow. G is for green, and Biv is for blue, indigo, and violet. So that's what I learned when I was in school was that funny word, Roy G. Biv. And then that way I know that the rainbow goes red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Now for today's craft, I just turned indigo and violet into purple to make it a little bit easier. Because I know not everyone might have all of the colors of the rainbow. So we're just working away, getting all of them together. And once you've made all of your hearts that you want, you can start sticking them together to make a really, really super big wreath. 
So I'm going to move my loose hearts out the way. Take my big circle here. And what I'm doing is because I started with purple, I'm going to continue by starting with purple again. So I'm adding a little bit of glue. And then I am sticking down my purple. And then I'm going to continue the pattern. I know that I did blue next. So I'm going to add some blue. And all you have to do is just add a tiny bit of glue to the side of your heart. Or you can use your tape. Or you can use your stapler. And I'm just sticking my hearts together so that I can make a super big circle. So I'm going to add my green next because we have purple, then blue, then green. Then I'm going to add my magical yellow because I do love this yellow. It's a very pretty yellow. A nice, bright, colorful, vibrant yellow. So I have my yellow. Then I have my orange, my orange. Just sticking away, just like so. And then last but not least, to finish my circle, I'm going to add my red. Now, because I'm finishing off the circle, I'll need to make sure that I add glue to both sides of the heart so that it can stick together and make a large circle. So I'm going to take my purple and stick it to my red. Now, if you want to finish your craft like this, you can. All you need to do to finish off the wreath is to just add some string at the top, and you have yourself a beautiful heart-shaped circle. But I want to go a little bit extra and do something really cool in the middle of my heart. So I'm going to push that to the side, and I'm going to show you guys how to make a rainbow layered heart. So in order to do a heart like this, all you're going to do is count how many layers you want. Now I did every color of the rainbow, but if you want, don't want to do that, you don't have to. If you just want two colors, then you can do two colors as well. And just like what we did with our other hearts, we are going to cut out some paper into long rectangles. So I'm going to do just like what I did before with my other paper. I'm going to combine all of it together, and then I'm going to cut out some long strips of paper. And I'm going to do this for every single color that I want to be inside the middle of my heart. So I'm going to slowly taking my time so that I don't hurt myself or ruin the paper, cut out a long rectangle strip. Now, to do this type of heart in the middle, you're going to need to use two strips for each side. One strip for one side, and one strip of paper for the other side. So what I'm going to do is take my long strip, and I'm going to divide it into two so that I have two groups. So I have one group of color, and I have another group of color. To do the big, giant, magical heart in the middle, all you need to do is we're going to work on one side, and then we're going to repeat on the other side. So to do my magical heart, if you want a super big layered heart, you're going to take your strips of paper and you're going to bend it over into small little teardrop shapes like this. So just like it was raining, if you can picture when you're drawing rain and it goes down from a cloud. Now to make the different layers, you'll need to decide how big you want your raindrops to look. If you want one in the middle, then you're going to have to make a small raindrop. If you want a little bit bigger, then you'll have to make a bigger raindrop. 
And we're going to keep making raindrops. So I'll show you. So I'm going to start with my purple. And I know that I want my purple to be a small raindrop. So I'm going to have two small raindrop shapes. So I'm going to make sure that they're the same size. So I have one and two. And I'm going to glue them. Now you can curl it as well to make it a little bit more rounder. So I'm curling mine here. And then just like what we did with the heart, I'm going to add a tiny bit of glue. And then stick it together at the very end. And then you get a raindrop shape. So there's my raindrop. It's now raining purple rain from the sky. And I'm going to repeat the same thing. So I'm taking my other one. I'm going to curl it. And this is going to be the other side of my layered heart. So this heart is a little bit more complicated. But this is a heart that you can put in the middle of your wreath or you can put it on top of a card, or you can just hang it down separately. So this is a separate special heart. So once you've glued it, you should have two raindrops. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put both raindrops together. So I'm gonna add a little bit of glue, and then I'm going to stick one raindrop to another raindrop. And now I have the base of my heart. So it should look like an itty bitty mini heart when you put your two raindrops together, just like this. Now comes the fun part. It's going to be a little bit tricky. You have to decide what color you want to use next. So the color that I want to use is going to be blue. Then taking your blue piece of paper, and I'm going to do this super slowly so everyone can see. So I've got my raindrops. I'm going to put my strip. I'm going to put it in the middle. And then when I curl it around, I'm going to decide how big I want this raindrop to be. So I think I want my raindrop to be a little bit bigger than the raindrop in the middle. So I want my raindrop to look like this. So I'm going to measure it out with my finger and I know that my strip of paper to be a raindrop that big needs to be this long. And once I've marked it out, I'm gonna cut it. So I know to have a big raindrop, my piece of paper needs to be this long. And I will make sure that I have another piece of paper that's the same size. And I'm going to make sure that it's nice and neat first. Then I'm going to do just like what I did with my raindrop. I'm going to curl my piece of paper. And then it gets a little bit different. So for every single layer of the raindrop that you do now, so I got my small one. I want to add another layer. So I'm going to take my blue. I'm going to put a tiny bit of glue and I'm going to go really slow so you guys can see. So I put a tiny bit of glue on my strip. I'm going to take my heart and I'm going to glue it down to the inside. So there's my heart. There's my blue. I'm going to glue it down to the inside. Then once the glue has dried, I'm going to glue this piece to the bottom. And now do you see how we're slowly starting to get a bigger heart? And we're going to keep doing this over and over again till you get a super big heart. So I'm going to do it really, really slow. And then I'll do it to the other side as well so you guys can see. So I'm putting my glue there. And then I'm holding it in place. So I took my strip of paper and I glued it to the inside and then I glued it to the bottom. And now I have two raindrops. 
And I'm gonna do it as again with this. So I'm taking my strip of glue, I'm putting a tiny, tiny little bit of glue, and then I'm taking my raindrop, and I'm gluing it to the inside of my raindrop, so in the very middle. So I'm gluing it to the inside. And then I'm putting glue on the very, very bottom, so the point. And then I'm taking my paper and I'm sticking it down. So now I have two raindrops. So one small one and one big one. And I'm going to do it really, really slow again with another color so that you guys can see. And I'll do it all the way from the beginning so that you guys can see step by step. So the next color that I'm going to use is green. So to measure my green, I'm going to put it inside my raindrop, just like that. So it's inside my raindrop. Then I'm going to bend it all the way around so I can figure out how big I want it to be. So I want my raindrop to be this big, my green raindrop. So I'm going to measure it out with my finger, and I know that I need to have a strip of paper that's this big to make a big raindrop. And I'm going to cut it with my scissors. Then I need to have two of them to go on each side. So there's one for this side. And then I'm going to take one piece of paper and measure it out so it's the same size so that I have two. So now I have two pieces of paper. Then I'm going to curl my piece of paper. So one and two. And then to glue it down, I'm going to put a little bit of glue on one end. So I got my tiny bit of glue. And I'm going to glue it inside my raindrop. So I'm opening my raindrops back up so that I have the middle. I'm putting down my piece of paper so it's inside the raindrop. Closing it back up and holding it so that it stays. And then putting some glue on the very bottom. I'll finish up my green here and then I'll show you guys how we can put it all together with some string so we can finish it off. So I'm going to do the same thing with my other side with the green. So I'm going to take a little bit of glue on the end and put it inside my raindrop just like this. And then a tiny bit of glue at the bottom. And then if you guys can see, when you're doing this, you can slowly start getting a super big heart with all different colors. So right now, my heart is purple, blue, and green. So I have lots of colors on this heart. If you wanted to add multiple layers, then you can make a rainbow heart, just like this. So lots and lots and lots of teardrops to make a really big heart. The last thing that I need to show you guys before we have to end is how to add the string. So if you want to keep your circle just like this, that's super easy with lots and lots of hearts around the outside, all you need to do is taking some string, you need to cut off a long piece, just like this. So I'm gonna snip off a long piece. And then what I did with my wreath is I figured out which heart I want to be at the top. So I want my red heart to be at the top. And then I chose so there's two hearts on either side, and then I chose these two hearts here. So the heart in the middle is my top, 
and then the second heart to the side. So I go one, two is where I'm going to put the string. So same with this side. So I got my heart at the top, and then I'm going to go one, two, and I'm going to put the string in my yellow one. To put the string in, all I did was taking my pencil. This will be a little tricky, so you might need some help. I just poked a hole into the top of my heart. So I'm just poking a hole. You can also use your scissors and cut a hole as well. Or if you have a hole puncher, you can punch a hole too. But all I do is I just put my string inside my heart. So there's one. And then I tie a small knot at the end so that it doesn't fall off. So I'm going to do it once and then I'm going to do it two times so that there's a really big knot so that it doesn't fall through my hole. And then I hold it like that and there's one side and then I'm going to repeat it on the same side. So I'm going to add a hole into my yellow. So I'm just taking my pencil and I'm just poking a hole. If you have another way of doing it, you can also use your scissors or a hole puncher. Then I'm tying my knot again. So one and two. Now, if you're all done, you can just leave it like that and you have a wonderful heart reef that you can hang up somewhere using your string. If you want to add something in the middle, then what I did is taking my heart in the middle, I took a little bit extra string, so I'm going to take a nice long piece right here. So I have a long piece of string. Then I'm going to move it down so you can see. I tied my piece of string to the middle of the string that I already had to hold it up. So I'm going to tie it there. There's one. And there is two. So I tied my string so that it's in the very middle. And then I found where my heart was at the bottom here. And then just like what we did to our hearts there, all I'm going to do is add a little hole to the top so that I can put my string through it. So I'm going to take my pencil again and I'm just going to add a little hole. There is one. And so that it's the same, I'm going to add another hole to the other side as well. So I just added a hole in the middle. And then I'm going to feed my string through so that it can hold the heart up. So super, super, super easy. I'm going to help with my pencil here. I'm just going to poke my string through. There we go. My string is through my heart. If you want it hanging down on one side, then all you need to do is just have your string like that. And then you can just cut it and you're good to go. But if you want it to hang in the middle, then I just take my string and I feed it back around again and have it go through the middle. You can play around with it as well. So if you don't like how your string looks, you can always try and hang your string a little bit differently so that your reef hangs in a different way. So I'm going to take my string. I'm going to feed it through. Are you going to come through, Mr. String? There we go. And play around with your string until you have it at the length that you want. So I want my heart in the middle to hang down about here. So I'm going to move it a bit. And I want it to hang about there. Then all I did was just tie off the middle. And you have yourself a hanging down heart. Now, if you have, it works best if you have smaller string. I'm working with some really, really big and thick string. So it's showing up a lot more. <laughs> But in my other one, I use some thinner string. Uh, Miss Emily? Of course. What do you need? Well, do you actually know that 
Well, when I when I when I try to cut off some string, mm -hmm. um, my scissors don't. My scissors can't cut it off. You can't so I cut had it off it instead. Yeah, somehow, sometimes it takes a little bit, it's hard to cut the string. So you might need to work with either paper, you could make a paper loop. I see yeah. you have a paper loop up there. Um, I, I mean, Miss, Miss Emily, look at this. <gasps> it looks beautiful. Then, you did an amazing what, job. What, 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 you did, but it's a bit too hard. So you have to put them in together. Yeah, the middle one, the middle heart was a little bit trickier. So you guys could choose if you wanted to do the easier hearts or the trickier heart. But once you're done, you should have something that could look like this. I'm gonna put this in or my yours room. might look a little bit different. I'm going to put this into my room. It's a great Oh, that would be perfect for my other heart. When I did this wreath, I decided because the heart in the middle was so heavy, I would attach it to the bottom of this heart as well. So this is what both of mine looked like. But before I go, I would love to see what any of yours looks like. Or if you're still working on it, that's okay. You guys can show up what you have to the camera. This is what mine looks like when it's hanging. So you have a heart circle and you can hang this on a wall or you can hang this on a door. It's all up to you guys where you want to hang it. Does anyone want to show what theirs looks like? I'll also show my other one as well. This is my other heart one that I just did now. So super pretty. Would anyone like to show before we have to head on out? Does anyone want to show what they have so far? I see, I see Ellie is working on hers a lot and I love the colors that you're using. And you're working really, really nice and it looks, oh, it looks so beautiful so far. <gasps> These look amazing, guys. You guys have done a wonderful job. I want you guys to keep working on them. And if you're not finished, that's okay. You can always finish later. Or if you want, you can actually take a picture of them and post them. And we'll actually put the link in the chat so you can see. But if you guys want to take a picture, you can post it up and then I can see the finished picture at the end. So thank you guys so much for coming out today. I hope that you guys had lots of fun. Stay safe for me. Remember to have a really good weekend and happy Pride Month as well. So take care, everyone. Thank you for coming. Goodbye.